Welcome to my review of Alter Ego. It is a lot of fun, and I, I hope that you will play this game. All right, here we are in this dark, scary hallway of our minds, and eventually we're confronted with this facade. I've been waiting for you, my lost child. I am Ego Rex. I administer rules. What you will find here with me is you, yourself. And now we start on this journey of self-discovery, and it's facilitated by clicking on these little text bubbles. Now the text inside of these bubbles actually comes straight from uh, quotes from pieces of world literature that are of a psychological nature. They're Japanese, they're North American, they're European, they're from all over the world, and what is interesting about it is the text that fills up those bubbles is determined by your results of tests that this lady, her name is S, she gives you these tests. And some of them are, you know, personality tests like this one. Others are, you have to end the story or you have to interpret what she's saying. And I don't know the rigor behind these personality tests. I don't really know if they're valid or, or anything like that. But it's what's interesting is that it her, your answers are what guide the game and they influence the outcome of the game too. In fact, there are three possible outcomes in the game, but I won't give you any spoilers. You'll just have to end up playing it. Um, you can ask me which way I, which version I won if you're if you're interested. Here she's analyzing, and you can see that there's all these words that are kind of judgmental, and it gives you this kind of creepy feeling. And oh yeah, now I get this label of anxiety turned aggressive. Or manic is my manic defense. So one struggle with this game is that the that the writing was a little bit weak. There was a, it's pretty apparent that it's not their first language. The developers' first language, and if they could have gotten a native speaker, English speaker, to help them, then that would have really, really benefited the game. So, here you can see that you can click on the, at the end of the game. You, you, once your mirror is filled out, you can click and see these little an analyses about yourself. One thing that's really irritating about this game is there's ads all over it, and if you want to get um, further through the game, then you have to click on those ads. Uh, one thing that's really cool is that y you can explore the context for the world literature. So that's pretty fun. You can you can see the passages that are linked to your interpret to the interpretations of those tests. What it's really good at is teaching this idea of psychodynamic theory that Sigmund Freud developed a hundred years ago. Now, psychodynamic theory has some major flaws. This game does a good job of teaching you experientially about the theory. Video games can actually be used as a tool in CBT, and uh, they, they can help to teach the user or the client uh, about their cognitive biases and the extent to which their feelings are intricately linked with their thoughts and how this underpins behavior. This game does a good job of that, even though the broader model upon which it's based is kind of old and kind of Freudian. Because <laughs> it is totally Freudian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would I recommend this video game? Yes, with caveats. I don't think I would ever recommend this video game for children. It's a little bit too dark. Um, and the S character, who represents Id, she's not stable. And she's a little bit creepy. Actually, a lot creepy. It also gives really trippy nightmares, just so you know. <laughs> and the other thing, the other reason why I wouldn't recommend this game to all audiences is because there are definitely suicidal uh, references and undertones that might be a factor um, that's influenced from the Japanese culture from which this game comes but it still doesn't really have a place in um, gaming for children in my opinion uh, and I also think that it would probably negatively influence certain people who might have um, you know it might be triggering for certain people so you know fair warning be careful with it, but have fun. Bye.